directions for your surprise painting. Remember your name and teacher code on the back. You'll notice on your table, there's different objects you're going to use to add color to your paper and not paint brushes. You're going to start by using a piece of cardboard to paint most of your paper. I'm going to start with yellow just because it is our lightest and brightest color and it often ends up getting hidden by the darker colors. So I like to start with yellow and you're going to swipe back and forth with that cardboard, kind of like it's a giant paintbrush. Drag the color on part of the paper, not all of it. Then you'll switch colors and you will overlap or put another color on top of another color. And you'll notice that they start to create new colors. So here we'll start to see green. And then finally I'll use some red. And when I overlap my red on top of the blue and on top of the yellow, I'll start to see oranges and purples start to peek through. You want to try and cover as much of your paper and cover up as much of that white space as possible by using your cardboard like a paintbrush. Then you will use smaller objects to stamp different colors of paint around your paper. You want to use different colors next to each other. So here I'm using red on top of the blue or I'm going to use a different object here like the fork and I'm gonna use the yellow on top of the blue so we can still see all the colors. Make sure you are gently stamping. You will know you are finished when your paper is full of really cool stamped textured items and full of tons of beautiful colors. Make sure you're gently stamping and not smearing your paint. When you are finished, go get cardboard first Put it underneath your project and then carefully take it to the drying rack. Leftover paint can be very carefully thrown in the trash, do not drop it. And then the objects you used to paint with can just be placed back on the tray you got them from. <laughs>